In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father Emmanuel Awea, and I'll like share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short of collection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Friday, 22nd March 2024. The readings are taken from Jeremiah 20, 10 to 13, Psalm 17, 2 to 7, and John 10, 31 to 42. The theme of the reflection is how to handle afflictions, how to handle afflictions. The first thing it says, Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watch for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is, is at my side, a mighty hill. My opponents will stumble, mustards confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, O Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and hearts, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. And the gospel says, The Jews fetched stones to stone him, so Jesus said to them, I have done many good works for you to see, works for my father. For which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You are only a man, and you claim to be God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. So the law, use, the law uses the word gods of those to whom the word of God was addressed, and scripture cannot be rejected. Yet you say to someone the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, You are blaspheming? Because he says, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my father's work, there is no need to believe me. But if I am doing it, then even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do, then you will know for sure that the father is in me and I am in the father. They wanted to arrest him then, but he eluded them. He went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptized. Many people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but all he said about this man was true, and many of them believed in him. Beloved, for some of us, when we are being afflicted or oppressed by opponents, we only complain and lament. Whether spiritual or physical or human opponents, we only complain and lament. Is that the way to go? Never, never, never. It is never the way to go. In the first reading, Jeremiah teaches us how she teaches us to handle afflictions by means of spiritual warfare. When he had so many disparaging him. When he experienced terror from every side, when people shouted, denounce him, denounce him, when his friends watched for his downfall, hoping to seduce him into error, master him and take revenge, he did not complain and lament. He never complained and lamented. What did he do? He engaged them in spiritual warfare. He engaged in spiritual warfare by making declarations. He declared that the Lord was at his side as a mighty hero, so his opponents will stumble, mastered, and confounded by their failure. He declared everlasting, unforgettable disgrace. Uh, he declared that everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. Then he prayed and said, You, o Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and hearts, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Then, assured of victory, he invites all people of goodwill to sing to the Lord, 
to praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. So this is a declaration uh, of hope. Thus, he engaged in spiritual warfare with hope for victory. This uh, kind of spiritual warfare is especially necessary when dealing with demonic afflictions. We have to declare and uh, uh, attack and uh, praise God over uh, hoping for victory. Similarly, the gospel shows another way of handling afflictions and oppressions. Jesus handled the oppression against him with patient dialogue or patient instruction. Some Jews picked stones to stone him, but he did not run away or complain or lament. He engaged them in a dialogue, a patient conversation, until they lost their patient com patience completely before Jesus then escaped. Jesus asked them, For which of my good works are you trying to stone me? And they said, Not for your good works, but for claiming to be God. And Jesus tried to explain that even the scripture says we are God's. So how is he blaspheming? Then he added that even if they won't believe in him, they should believe in his works. And this uh, will help them to know that he is in the Father and the Father is in him. Then they lost their patience and wanted to arrest him, so he escapes. This patient instruction will help at least some of them to convert. So, when faced with human oppressors, and it is possible, we can still try to patiently dialogue with them until it is impossible to do so. Our patient dialogue might win some of them uh, through that. A uh, patient dialogue might win some of them, but with demonic affliction, there is no room for dialogue. That one calls for spiritual warfare until they are overcome. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to handle every affliction with spiritual warfare or patient dialogue. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will let you see victory over your oppressors. Amen. Go and share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and share about discussing this message with others. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.